All right, so here we go, guys. We're going to do a recorded video right now on understanding what this symbol means right here, sharp. And Maddie Boy goes, yeah, well, I just don't really understand it. So it's actually a really, really good question, and I get this question from people all the time. So let's take this piano right here. All right, let's move this out and go over. And rather than pull the piano out, let's just use my handy-dandy hand-drawn piano. Okay? Everyone seems to like my, my, my hand-drawn piano. It's kind of funny. Okay. So now, Maddie, you, like, you have to think is that when something, is that when you have a piece of music, you have a note that can either go up or down. So how do I tell people that a note is going up? Well, you can say up, but that the terminology that you use in a piece of music is sharp. So that if I'm on this note G right here, and I go up a half step, it's going sharp. So this G natural has now became a G sharp. Now, there's a term that, that I had explained the other day that's referred to as a flat, okay? And so what a flat is, is that if I were to take this A and I were to flatten the A, okay? A goes down a half step to A flat. G goes up a half step to G sharp. But notice how it's on the same exact note on the piano, the one that I just colored in. See? This A is an A flat, this G is a G sharp, they're on the same note on that piano. If you want to see it on the actual piano, is it different for guitar? No. Zach, that's a great, great question. It is the same exact thing. Oh, let me get down here. It is the same exact thing for guitar. So here, check it out. Here's my G, here's my G sharp, here's my A, here's my A flat. G sharp and A flat are the same note. So, what's that sharp sign mean again? Well, the sharp sign just means to go up. So then what's the little B mean? Or, or how do I tell people that I want to go down? And the answer is really simple. I mean, you just tell them by the symbol. One, two, three, four, five. My markers are starting to die. That's why I'm moving up so close. Let me move up a little further. All right, so let's say Either you can make this A an A flat, or you can say a G sharp. So, Maddie, that when you see this symbol that looks like the number sign, all that's saying is that you want that note to go higher by a half step. And so now the next question that I get asked a lot is, well, Walt, what the heck is a half step? And the answer is that a half step is only one note from the next. Piano is a great thing to use because you can actually visualize it. Here we have A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. All these notes right here, guys, are all half steps. Okay? So now, let's see what people are saying right now over here. Uh... Stretch goes, notes are just letters for A through G, and different instruments produce it in a different way. Um, so, okay, Maddie continues to say, okay, Maddie says that this makes sense, and that you continue to go up a string or a fret. Absolutely, absolutely. So, here's the thing, Matt, is that if you want to go up a half step on piano, you go up one note at a time. A half step on guitar is one fret at a time. So, here's E, your open string, here's F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and it continues all the way up and all the way down. Okay? So now, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about on a piece of music. Let's take this C right here, okay? And let's say that this is a C natural, okay? Let's take Let's take away the sharp right here, okay? Let's say this is a C natural. Uh, you know what, let's say that it's A. A is good to work with. So if I'm at, Maddie, if I'm at A and I wanted to go down a half step, I would put in that lowercase b. Let me move this note or delete it. I would put in this lowercase b looking symbol, okay? This is just a musician's way of saying flat. So this note is actually in A flat now, which before I had as, sorry, 
Let me do... Oh, let me delete that. Okay. So before I, I had is this pitch right here. Okay. And now I have as this pitch, which is here. Okay. So here's A natural right here, and here's A flat. A natural. Oops, oh, sorry. A natural, A flat. A natural, A flat. Okay. So now it brings you to this third thing here. What the heck does this symbol mean? Well, this symbol stands for natural. And so what's a natural? Well, let's go back here. Okay, let's take this right here. Oh, F FJF says, I like your shirt. Oh, th th thanks, man. Um, all right, so let's take this right here, piano, and find out, everyone, let's find out what a natural is. Well, a natural is any of these white keys on the piano. I can also show you here using a real piano. The natural, guys, are these notes. These are all, na these are all naturals. Okay? Now, all the flat keys right here... Those are what we refer to as the sharps and the flats of the instrument. Okay? Now, the reason why I use piano, as you probably know by now, I use piano because it makes it very, very easy to literally visualize and see the difference. Because a guitar only has frets, and that the frets aren't colored or anything. So, you know, that's the thing about frets. Uh, are there any other questions, Maddie, about that before I stop this recording? Okay? So then if I were at this A right here, and you were to see that, that number, quote-unquote number symbol, it becomes an A sharp. If I were to see that little lowercase b, it becomes a B flat, which is from this A to this A flat. What did I say? B flat? It's that lowercase b. It means flattened. So here's an A. Here's an A flat. Here's a G, here's a G sharp. So G sharp and A flat are the same exact note. Okay? Now, let me stop for a minute, Maddie, and see if, if you have any questions. If you don't, then I'll stop the recording. Stretch says, shortcut to remember is flat. Think of like a flat tire that when things get flattened, they get lower. Yeah, that's a great way. Sharp is like a sharp piece of glass. Uh... Don't really know what that means, but just think sharp is higher, flat is lower. Just flat means to go down. When you flatten something, it just gets lower, you know? So, um, let's see here. Okay, so, I mean, I guess that everyone pretty much, un that everyone pretty much understands it, right? Okay, yeah, Maddie, you got it. You're on, the table's all yours, bro. Uh, soon as I did, I did not. Matt, come on, the, the floor's all yours, bro. You got two things to say. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stop recording this then if you don't jump in on it. Okay, okay. You forgot what slurs and 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 the other things are. Okay, let me stop this recording and then I'll jump on slurs.